What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new episode. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a Pro Bike Tool quarter inch drive torque wrench. Alright guys, so we're back and I got a new tool. Uh, I won't call it a toy, I got a new tool. It goes along with the biking that I've been doing recently. Um, just so you guys know, I also have the new media mod on my GoPro to see how the new sound works. So hopefully it's a little bit better. I also have a pretty funny way that I have it mounted. Um, trying something new with that also. So hopefully this comes out okay. So let's uh, let's uh, get this open. Um, basically I ordered this from Amazon. Uh, it had some really good reviews on it. I looked at some of the other torque wrenches, ones that are much more expensive and they look really nice but I didn't want to pay that much. <laughs> um, being new to bikes, there's a couple things that I want to be able to change. You guys know I did the pedals, so I bought this wrench, um, but for some of the things, I need a torque wrench to make sure that I'm not making things too tight. So what is a torque wrench? A torque wrench is a tool to apply specific torque, basically just meaning you get the bolt tight enough, the screw tight enough, whatever it is, um, and you don't over tighten it to strip anything out, and you don't under tighten it so that it falls out or that anything is too loose and moving around too much. So it gives you that specific torque rating based on what the manufacturer has told you that you need. So initially, I look at this box, it's a nice box, nice packaging, pro bike tool, torque wrench set. This is also nice because it comes with some of the uh, accessories which we're gonna take a look at along with an extension. So let me um, get this open for you. And I'm gonna link this in the description so you guys can find it if, uh, if you wanna pick one up for yourselves. Um, I guess it depends on how it comes out when we open it. <laughs> okay, so the box was nice. Shows you exactly what it is. This case, initial feel on it. Pretty nice plastic container. Um, this is actually nice, this is actually metal. A lot of the plastic containers that you get, especially with tools, just have that snap kind of plastic thing. I don't know if you guys can see, but over here I have my Craftsman box and it's the same thing. It's like the plastic, but it just has a plastic piece that snaps on. This is nice because this is actually a metal buckle to hold it. Um, and when I open it, ah, this, this uh, so far this is really nice. Um, we have a certificate of calibration, uh, serial number, test range, um, test direction, units, um, and who the inspector is. Pretty cool, so you know the set torque for two, um, min 1.92, max 2.08, and it's saying the test result was 1.95, so it's within the range. So basically this specific Pro Bike Tool torque wrench um, was purchased as a 2 to 20 Newton meter range. Um, the price on this was $69.97, which is still pretty expensive, but for a torque wrench, it's not that bad. Um, some of the name brand ones were way more expensive than that. Uh, this also, this is a quarter inch drive. There is also a three, three eighths inch drive, which is a 10 to 60 Newton meter version. Um, for those that work on cars, I had worked on cars um, prior to working on anything with bikes. We usually talk in foot pounds, sometimes even in inch pounds. Um, so to give you a kind of a correlation, if you guys are used to that, two Newton meters is equal to 1.475 foot pounds torque. Um, so as we keep looking through here, oh, what I was talking about with the calibration here is that they state that the clockwise accuracy of this wrench will be 0.4, or no, no, plus or minus 4%. Counterclockwise will be plus or minus 6%. So you never use a torque wrench to actually loosen a bolt, but you will find certain applications, I can't tell you what they are, I can't think of one right now, but there are certain applications where you actually tighten in a clock, in a counterclockwise direction instead of a counterclockwise. Or, oh my God, I said that totally wrong. <laughs> Scratch that. There are some applications where instead of the usual tightening of a clockwise direction, you actually tighten down in a counterclockwise direction. And I can't think of any specific applications, but it's possible you'll run across that and that's why they do actually certify this or um, tell you the accuracy rating in a counterclockwise and why it can be turned in a counterclockwise direction. Um, so initial thoughts on this when I feel it, 
This is a, it feels like a sturdy tool. It's nice, it's much smaller than I thought. So in my hand now, you can kind of see how big this is. Um, it, it's definitely smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I didn't get the 3 8 inch drive because there's certain things on the bike that are only four Newton meter. Um, and the 3 8 inch drive starts at 10. Um, and then there was one that I had at seven also. And we're gonna test this on the Marlin 6 because it's right from the factory, or right from the shop. <laughs> so we can see if this works or not. So here we have torque bits at T10, T25, T30. And then we have our hex bits at two, 2.5, three, four, five, six, eight, and 10. Um, this is a 100 millimeter extension, which is nice that it comes with that. And then what they say is that this area right here, they actually label it, if you guys can see that. It says storage in there. So basically, if you're taking out any of your small bolts, you throw them in there so you don't lose them. So it's a really nice container, really nice setup. Um, I'm really happy with this so far. Of course, we need to make sure that this works properly. Um, so when you get it, I, there's a video that you can watch on it where they tell you that you need to calibrate it. Let's take a look at this and see if it also tells us. So initial setup and reading through this real quickly, this is the same as what you find the video on. Um, important instructions. Okay, so they go di through different things. So um, when you get it, really nice set of instructions. You know, it's not one of those things where it doesn't come with instructions. I've gotten some of the cheaper tools before and you gotta find things online on how to use it. So we'll put those over to the side. But so far, I mean, this is a quality tool. I mean, it did cost $70, so hopefully it's a quality tool, right? So initially right here, we can see that it's set to two, which is where it starts, right? So there's a two right there. It's probably hard to see, um, especially out of the light now. And then there's the zero. And here's your increments of your 0.1, 0 0.2. So I believe what we need to do is that we're gonna pull it down and then we can turn it, yep. So when you put this up, it locks in. So, oh, really nice. So the point two is here. If you turn it a little bit, this doesn't actually lock. You can keep turning it until you hit one and then it locks in. So that's a really nice feature also that it has this lock on it. Uh, I've had torque wrenches before where you just turn it and you're kind of close enough, I guess. Um, so we're gonna put it back to two and we're gonna lock it on that zero. And what you're supposed to do is take this and click it. If you guys can hear, I'm gonna pull it up. Okay, so that clicked. Uh, okay, and then we're supposed to just turn it up to six. Turn this up, it turns very nicely. Obviously with the increments of 0.1, it takes a little bit to get there. We're right at five now. Uh, actually that's five. Then we go around one more time. We're gonna get to that six. Lock it in, okay? And then basically you don't do anything at that point and then you bring it back down to two. So we're gonna go all the way back down to two. And it turns very smoothly. Um, no issues, no complaints on this so far. A little bit hard to read the numbers. I thought that they would be a little bit better. Um, I had thought that they were actually in like a white color, but they're not. There's also a black version of this, which I was thinking about getting, and maybe they're more visible on there. It didn't seem like anybody had rated that black version um, where the coloring is just black and then the lettering's in white. I kind of wish I got that one now because this is a little bit harder to see, at least in the lighting that's here. Maybe it would be a little bit better somewhere else. Um, so I like this so far. This seems like a really quality tool. I really like the case. Really like the pieces that came with it. Um, obviously, you know, 100 millimeter extension. Very tiny though, but I guess you need it for um, some of these smaller bolts that are on the bike. Okay, so that's the basics of this. This is the case, and now we're gonna test to see if this works. So I'm gonna grab my wife's Marlin 6. Um, I'm gonna grab the camera, I'm gonna change it, change the angle so that we can see what's going on. And because uh, I have at least one um, bolt that we can try it out on, one's like a four, nanometer and one's a seven and we'll just see if this clicks properly you know it shouldn't tighten it down really anymore it should just click uh, i did see some people complain saying that uh, on amazon they had one and they stripped out a bolt because it didn't click when it was supposed to that type of thing but it seems like um should be pretty good it got really good reviews so let's see i'm gonna put that back and we're gonna test it out now all right guys check it out so i have the back mic on the new media mod on now. So hopefully you guys can hear me better than you could previously. Right now, uh, we're looking at the Marlin 6, my wife's new bike, it's a 2021. Um, we have our new torque wrench. 
and it's set to four if you guys can see that it's probably blurry it's probably hard to see and if you can see this top bolt right here is a four so what we're going to do is put it on and we're going to hope that it just clicks this is also a four millimeter hex that goes in here i'm going to put that on and it should click we're going to listen let's hope that we hear it uh that didn't click that time hold on That should have clicked. Let's try that again. That's a four and that clicked that time. Okay, so maybe it was a little loose. I don't know. Um, on the front here, if you can see this part, it says seven. So we're gonna change this setting to a seven. All right, so we're set to seven now. We're gonna put this in the front and this should actually click also, let's see. That didn't click yet. There, now it clicked. So these are a little bit less. It says seven max, so, and that one clicked also. So I feel pretty good and confident that this is working properly. Um, this one on the side here is a 5.2. So this was a four and a seven. Let's just try that one one more time. Um, and then I'll feel really good if that's still working. All right, so this is set to 5.2. Let's see how this works out. And that one immediately clicked. And, oh, there's one on this side. That one immediately clicked also. So I feel pretty confident about this. All right, guys, so you saw the unboxing, calibrated it, tested it out on some uh, bolts that we knew should already be set to the specific correct torque. And basically it worked. It tightened down the cap but a little bit that was set to four. Um, I'm guessing that that one could have just been tightened a little bit more. The other ones were set to seven and tightened it a little bit, but then clicked. So I think that this thing is uh, pretty much good. It's not gonna over tighten too much. Um, and if you look at the calibration, it said that it was a little bit under. So obviously people using different torque wrenches, you're gonna get different settings. So, you know, when they torqued it and then I torqued it and then riding it around and everything, it's a little bit different. But you wanna know what? I think that this was a good purchase. I think that this is gonna be helpful as I try and do some of the maintenance myself and maybe switch out some parts coming soon, I guess you could say. <laughs> Especially once I, every video now I mention my 2021 Trek Marlin 7 that I ordered in June. I still don't have, it's now September. I'm um, hoping to get it this month. We'll see what happens. And my next video, I think I'm going to do kind of an in-depth walk around and maybe a review on the Marlin 6 that my wife got. i um, really happy with that bike. I've actually been riding it some because uh, my son is out on his Trek Precaliber that he loves. And we go riding, so I just use her bike. We kind of have to swap back and forth sometimes, but great bike. If you guys want to see, I'll do like a real detail, kind of in-depth of the whole bike to show you all the different features, like what's on it, the different parts and everything, and talk about it a little bit. So you guys should see that coming soon. But I really appreciate you guys watching this one. Do me a favor and subscribe and click that like button, and I will see you guys next time.